There was once a powerful weapon known as the King's Blade. For many years, the kingdoms of cats and dogs warred over it. But suddenly, the blade was shattered and the world was never the same again. So, what is up, bosses? It's your boy, Boss Fat One, and welcome to a game called Cat Quest 2. So, this is a brand new game. I saw it over on Steam. I like the look of it, so here we are for a video. I know this game's about. Four hours, four and a half hours long. I wasn't thinking of doing a series. It's kind of just a tester video to see if I extremely like the game. I'll continue it as a series. But for now, this is just going to be a one-off video of playing the game. And I mean, a game called Cat Quest 2 where it's basically cats versus dogs. How the hell can we not play this game? This game is freaking awesome. And you can play co-op. Awesome. Let's play solo. By the way, I haven't played the first game. I literally know... Not one thing about what we're actually going to be doing, but let me just sort out all of the settings and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Literally all I did is freaking turn off the vibration. There doesn't seem to be like any graphic settings or anything. Not that I saw anyway, so let's just begin. New game slot one. Let's freaking do this. I don't know how long I'm going to record for. I guess just the temporary part one, I guess. So 30, 35 minutes. Long ago, there was a great evil. Two kings fought against it, but fell to its corruption. Okay. However, prophecy foretold their return, so I guess this is the baby cat and dog, so a kitten and a puppy. For only their light is going to shine through the darkness. It's doing the opposite now, it's actually getting brighter. Lovely. A nice poor loading screen. Poor as in P-A-W, it's not a poor loading screen as in a bad loading screen. Oh, we're just together straight away. My kings, you're really back. The prophecy came true. It's me, Kiri, your royal advisor. The world is in peril. You must follow me. I guess this means that there's the same characters in the first game. I don't know who these people are. You guys might, you guys might have watched the first game. You guys might have played the first game. I haven't, so I don't know who these people are. I guess that's it, it's because the guy said you're back, so I assume it is the same people in the first game. Is this... I'm starting to think that these are just two cats, or is this a cat and a dog? I think... This guy that I'm playing as is a cat and the other guy's a dog. I can't really freaking tell, to be fair. Was that to run? What to run? It, it just has dashes. That's not really buttons now, is it, game? Okay. I see you're on the other side. Fair enough, bro. Uh, let's go in here then. At level one. Let's freaking do this. Brave Caves. This is actually like an open world type thing, I guess. Like a little phone game type thing. Cat rags. Equip in that. Lovely. How do I get to that? Tab. And then E. Or just click on it. Great. Okay. Lovely. Well, I equipped something and I'm getting XP. Great. Oh, left click to attack. Okay, I need to get out of the way of that. Can I just slash you until you die? Okay, good. Lovely. Can I change my character? I have no idea. Okay, I guess not for now. Open this one. What do we get? Dog rags. Okay, so I guess we are a cat and a dog. Um, I need you... Hold X to switch. And then you on that. I guess. And I don't have anything else. Lovely. So X, and then we can switch. Okay, cool. Let me just be the cat for now, as that's just the, the person that we were playing as originally. I am a dog person, though. SPC to roll away from enemy attacks. Oh, space. Yeah. Cool. Lovely. I don't really need to roll away from that attack, seeing as though it's freaking 100 miles away from me. And okay, that was that was very freaking lucky. I think if, if he actually landed that attack, he probably would have hit me. The hell was that? It's like whispering in my left ear. Well, the might of the first kings awaken this power in you. Is in like a freaking secret horror game, is it? You learnt Flame Purr and Freeze Paw. That is freaking adorable and therefore concludes that in fact, yes, we are a cat and a dog. Why oh, do you use magic? Okay, you're probably not there though. Okay, you're gonna slam dunk on us. I'm gonna kill you quickly and... Okay, we didn't take any damage. I guess... Yeah, okay, that's the magic. I just used that. So yeah, the, the blue thing is our magic. I should probably be the dog for now as the dog's got full magic. So if I do get in a bad situation I can't just continuously... Okay, you're just dead. I can't just continuously do that. Or was that just showing us that I guess spikes hurt? Who would have thunked it, ladies and gentlemen, that spikes actually hurt you? 
Can I do the same with this guy? Oh, no. Okay, good. Lovely. That means I get no XP, though. I think I actually need to legit kill them to get XP. Extra swap characters during solo play. Okay, cool. So I guess we can do co-op. Lovely. I mean, if I do eventually do a series, I might actually get a friend on to join me. Why not? I can be a dog, they can be a cat, because, as I said, I'm a dog person. So can I individually level them up, then? I guess I'll see once I level up as the dog and then see if the cat's level two as well. It'd be cool if I could do it individually though. Oh, they get individual uh, items. As I've already got, I've got dog rags and cat rags for each of the characters, which is freaking awesome. Dungeon complete. Did I get any extra stuff? You're already equipped and all of that. Oh, I did. Wait, what? Oh, and then you won that one? Wait, no. You on that one. So the cat's got that one and the dog's got that one. I think that was originally like that, but now I know that I've actually equipped it properly and can actually use it. Here we go, we're on this island now. Saved. Great! That's how dogs and cats sleep. They just freaking fall to the ground, pretend they've died and wake up two seconds later. Great. I mean, I'd be a bit freaking annoyed if it's real time. That would be a bit boring. You're not going to like this, but evil kings have usurped your thrones. Okay, great. Lioner, the persecutor. <laughs> These freaking names. And Wolfen, the Labrador. Instead of Labrador, I guess that would be. That's why only you can help us, my kings. I wonder if a dog and cat would actually play this game. Can you imagine? There's a video of a dog and cat actually playing Cat's Quest 2. Why is it called freaking Cat's Quest? As we've already discussed, dogs are better than cats, and shut up comments, they freaking are. Dogs actually like their owners and don't freaking run away. So if a dog ran away, it ain't freaking coming back anytime soon. King's mar marker allows fast travel across your kingdoms. Freaking great. Dogs and cats can fast travel. Who would have thunked it? Okay, so I guess these are the di different kingdoms. So we're going into kingdom two, I guess. My god, this is a freaking massive game. Jesus Christ. We're in Fellingard now. Lioneer rules here, though. Great. Where is he? Can I kill him now? A blacksmith called Kit Kat. Oh my god, that is the best name ever. Per Peromis, of course, to help us. Meet me there. This is the greatest game ever, and I am definitely, without a doubt, doing a freaking full series on this game. Oh, and welcome home, your Meowjesty, of course. Lovely. Th this game has quests. What does this game not have? The freaking art style and graphics are amazing. Jesus Christ. And there's save points after every two minutes of gameplay. It's a freaking awesome game. Why can't I talk to this guy? Oh, I can. Me me meow. Lion is poor Ribble King. I'm struggling to freaking read this. All he cares about is his war with the Lupus Empire. Okay. Great. I love these dog and cat puns. Mainly cat puns for whatever reason. Can I hit these? Okay, yeah, I guess not. But I kind of want to get all of these guys. It's like Pokemon, you just freaking farm all these guys. Just because I want to, um... Oh, I am level 2 now, so... Okay, yeah, we both are level 2. Get out of the freaking way. I completely forgot I can use space to avoid. Okay, in headquarters. Are these friendly guys? Yeah, they are. I've heard that there's a magic tablet in a cave nearby. Great, I want that, please. Oh, that cave over there. I, I don't dare go in, though. Okay, I dare go in, though. There's nothing there. Lovely. We got a little loot crate over there. Have you heard of the bookkeepers? They can help you abandon quests. Well, I've never taken a quest, so I haven't seen one. F fair enough. This game's funny as well. Like, what does this game not freaking have? What do we have in this? Oh, that's a save point. Yeah, I completely forgot. As I said, save point every one and a half to two minutes, of course. I can't go in there yet. I guess I have to get the magic book or whatever the guy said to um, go in there. King, what does that say? King Sigil Ruins. Okay. Oh, that said level 10. I'm getting out of here straight a freaking way. Oh, no. I've messed up here, haven't I? What can I leave? Okay, I can leave. Did I say level 10 or am I? Yeah, level 10. No freaking way am I going in there yet. Jesus. I would die straight away. We need level 2 stuff at the moment. Oh, there we go, and we should just be able to continuously hit him. Yeah, okay. And then just before he attacks us. So hit, go out of the way, 
and then continuously spam left click on this guy. Lovely. What level is this? It's level 7. We are level 3 though, so I mean I've killed 2 people and I've leveled up. I might have even leveled up on the first kill, let's see. Do I level up after this guy? Okay, I don't. Can I actually see what... How much more XP I need? Have I got... Okay, I haven't got any more stuff for loot, so I guess that's the... You only get that in the caves. But I need to find a low level area for now. I could go into a level 7 area and just... Flex on them haters, I guess, and just hope I win, because then I'll level up quite a bit. Your Majesty, something's happened to Kit. Blacksmith Kit. Okay. Great. Take a look at this note on Kit's door. Gone for a little bit, we'll be back soon, y'all. So he's given us his equipment then. This was two days ago, I'm worried she's in some sort of trouble. I guess we have a quest on our hand, ladies and gentlemen. Go and get Kit. And I guess there's a little uh, path to show us where we're meant to go for that. You sniffed out her scent. Good doggy. Lovely. Uh, I meant, good job, your roughingness. I guess we're the top people of this area. So as I said, I'm thinking of doing a series on this. I might potentially actually play the first game as well, because this is a really freaking cool game. I really like this. I love the white trail. What is this? The bookkeeper. I am the keeper of all stories in time. Do you wish to reverse time on this quest to whence you first took it? I'm good. So that's the abandoned quest guide there we're talking about. But there's still people up here to kill. I kind of want to... Oh, people have respawned over here. So do I just wait and then people have respawned? So this is just a nice little farm area because we've got four guys here and potentially two, possibly three kills to level up. Let's see, that was two kills. It's going to be three. Do we level up? No. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see the, the XP bar. But why didn't that move the last two? Or do we only sometimes get XP? So we got XP... Yeah, that moves. But that moves very, quite slowly. So I guess for now we're going to do actually what the, the game wants us to do for once. We just get some cheeky freaking coins on the way. Mysterious voice. Ah! <laughs> that was really freaking loud. I probably woke up my grandparents, which isn't good. Help me, y'all! Great. Bring out the inner freaking sandy cheeks of me. This is a level 4 though, but... I guess 2 above our level is maximum, so 1 above our level is fine. Hold up a tinge, you're the ones K Kiri told me about, aren't you? Oh, pardon me rudeness, your meowjesties, but I'm at my wit's end. Again, this is going to teach me some completely new freaking vocabulary that I'm never going to use ever. I'm too lazy to get a moors there. Will you help me please? I want that loot crate. I want that freaking loot crate. Hell yes. Oh no, I am scared. Very freaking scared. I'm just gonna go. Oh god, this guy attacks very quickly. And I actually got hit. Well. That was bad. That was very freaking bad on my part. Who's this? Oh, I want this though. Hell yes. No XP, but that's fine, I guess. You got a Moors. Great. There's more over there, your Meowdesties. Okay. Right on it. But I'm gonna go right first, because potentially there's gonna be more over here as well. Okay, there's one of these guys. Oh, they insta hit. Hey, what? Resist? They're freaking resisting us? The hell? How do I... Okay, I guess I can't attack them yet. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have to just get them over here. So I can't hit them myself. I have to get them to hit into a spike. Cat Venture Vest. I guess that's for the cat then. Uh... Dog rags, cat rags. I guess this is better than that. I don't want it me. I want it on the cat. There we go. 120. It seems like the dog's got more HP anyway. Uh, oh, that gives it power. Okay. I don't think it matters. Like, if it's called a cat venture vest, I don't think it matters if I put it on a dog. But for now, I'm going to do that. Like that. If it has cat and dog in the name, then I know who to um, put it on. No, I just freaking jumped into that. God's sake. I need to be better about this because I'm definitely going to die a lot sooner than I'd want to. I mean, no one wants to die in a video game, just like they don't want to die in real life. 
Night armor. Okay, that seems like something that I want to put on the freaking dog right away. Where is the night armor? The night armor's there going on you. What does that do? Plus two. Okay, armor. Definitely the freaking thing that I do need. And I do want that plus one coin. You got more of them ores. How much um, money do I have though? And what do I actually use money for? Like, what can I buy in the game? I have no idea. Lovely, nice trail of spikes. You've moved down here. You give the ores to Kit. I am impressed. I'm just going to say it normally if I can. See you back at my shop, y'all. Heart. I guess I answer my question of what I use the coins for. And let's just levitate out of here because cats and dogs can do that in this universe, apparently. What is this? I want whatever this is. Requires golden key. Never mind. I don't want whatever that is. Do want to save my game, though, because I've been recording for 17 minutes. Jesus. As I always say in just about every video ever, because I always play games that I enjoy, if you're playing a game you enjoy, time goes fast very quickly. You know the freaking BS they used to teach you in school, like, time flies when you're having fun? Well, I'm at school. That's why time's got freaking stopped. Time has stopped when I'm at school. And when I'm at college at the moment. Wait, the tax is how much again? I'm sorry, ma'am. All cats who don't follow the law, the new laws, will face persecution. Uh, fine. Take it. Whatever. I'm in my freaking shop now, and I'm gonna buy something with my however much I've got. I don't actually know how much money I've got. Hopefully I will soon. So Kit, okay, here is going to be our new personal blacksmith. Oh hell yeah, so I can just get weapons made. That's right, any armor needed needs upgrading, come to me. Oh, it's just armor. Or maybe weapons as well, uh, assumedly. Hey y'all, wanna upgrade your armor? Hell yes. Um... E. How much is it though? It's 80. Okay. I guess I'll do that for you as well. Or both of them, yeah. Do that for now. Lovely. Uh, I probably don't want to upgrade stuff that I'm not using anymore. And that's fine. So I can't upgrade weapons though. I guess we just keep the same weapons. Which is a bit weird. Who the hell was that? Pour some news. The mages want to help fight Lioneer too. Okay, that's good. Let's scurry to the arcane headquarters. So I guess that's what that guy was there. Hell yes! I'm level 4 and nearly level 5. I might just quickly, um... Kill a bunch of these guys until I am level 5. And then I could probably go into the cave grotto right now. Because obviously I don't need to do what's... Uh, asked of me. Okay, that's level 10. I'm not ready for that yet. Am I ready to kill this guy yet? Ooh. It goes down slowly. I feel like I can. I completely forgot about that. I legit completely forgot about my freaking magic. Hey, what was the button again? This R, yeah. I kept pressing R, but I guess there's a cooldown. I completely forgot about my magic. That would have helped me very much before I almost nearly died. And obviously, yeah, I forgot I could sleep, and then uh, that gives me all the freaking good stuff back. Gets me back to 100 HP. Just probably one more of these guys, and then should be level 5. Go on. So freaking close. Hell yes, level 5. And then why not? Let's just kill this guy as well. Lovely. And then just slash him about. Lovely. But if we can't upgrade our weapon, how are we actually going to gain uh, our like attacks? This is level 7, as I said. Uh, plus 2 levels on our level isn't too bad. It's just these guys as well. We just took one of these guys out, so it's fine. Oh, and we when we go through the portal, we actually gain all of our health back as well. That's good. Alright, and we've got... Oh, no mana. Wait, I don't have enough mana to do this. Okay, well that's a bit annoying, because it's taking years. I guess for now, let's just go over here and see what's in... Oh, I can't actually get... That's clever. I can't actually get the chest before I kill the thing. I mean, it's very freaking annoying, but that's quite good, I guess. Plus, people don't just run and get the chest and then run out again, I guess. Okay, adventure vest. Oh, and it actually does... So if we get the same one, it levels it up. That's, that's freaking cool. That's really cool. Oh, great. Oh no. Well, that was that was bad and definitely not freaking worth it. Because these guys, yeah, these guys are going to take a, quite a bit of a freaking beating. And I guess if we go out and then come back in again, it's definitely going to be like they gain all of their health back. That's probably not going to be a, a good strategy to do. We can get this guy now, hopefully. I don't want to die though. And I'm very close. We've got just about no XP on the way to level six though which isn't good okay well this is going very freaking bad oh the cat hasn't even got hit pretty much yet i 
amazing. I don't know how the hell he's done it though. Oh, that just... That's good. Oh no. Oh wait. Oh! And then I can do that. This is freaking cool. Every time I learn something new about this game, it's like, hell yes. That is an awesome mechanic. Alright, now I can just switch over to my dog because dogs are freaking better. Of course they are. And there we go. Freaking lovely. I don't know. How was I meant to... I guess it gives me like one or two seconds to get back, but the way I went definitely wasn't the right way to go. I might do that. Okay, I, I slow them down and then I'm dead again. I slow them down and then the... or the dog slows them down and then the cat uh, boils them, I guess. Or sets them on fire and then they just take damage from that consistently. For I think like four times that was, which isn't bad at all. Jesus Christ, that was one hit away from freaking death right there. My god. Oh wait, no, you just... That wasn't me doing it. The dog just, or whoever's down, just gains health over time. Okay. White mage robes. Do I want that anyway? Hmm. Do I want to put that on the dog? I feel like I want to put that on the dog. Or maybe the cat. What does the cat have? The cat has this. Which does what? I don't know. That's just plus four attack. Or more... I feel like the attack. And then the dog should have this. Yeah. The dog looks cooler as well. The dog looks like freaking Ezio now, which I can very much so appreciate. Because Ezio is freaking awesome. And okay, I'm nearly level six. Wonderful. So I guess doing quests that are of a higher level than you is actually a benefit. And yeah, that's how I gain... Um, Attack damage, I guess, is just by equipping armor that just gives me more attack damage. Because, yeah, I, can, I feel like I see that the cat is doing a lot more damage to the people than I am at the moment. Alright, what level is this again? That's level 10. I don't feel like I'm going to be able to do that. I'm definitely not going to be able to do that. And I think this was level 10 as well. Hmm. I feel like I can kill this guy again. Get to level 6. And then we can potentially just go up here for a bit and just see, because I've been recording for 24 minutes, so I don't want to start the next quest yet. I'll leave that for the next episode. And there we go, level 6. How do I get over there? Because I need to save my game. Because I haven't saved in at least four and a half minutes, so I definitely need freaking save. And it's just up here. Didn't I go up here already? Oh no, I don't think I went all the way up here. Or did I? I can't even remember. There we go, lovely. And can I go in here, or is this... Okay, I can't go in there, but there is a coin there. That I legit saw, and was about to just leave. Because I pretended to forget about it, I guess. What's over here? I'm kind of just exploring for the minute. So this is all high territory. I guess if I try and fight one of these guys, they're going to be very freaking hard to kill. Yeah. I don't want to be here, actually. I changed my mind. I regret this very freaking highly. I definitely don't want to be here, as soon as though these guys shoot stuff at me. Which definitely isn't good. I do want to, however, get... Okay, that, that hurts quite a bit. I do want to, however, get that. And level freaking 99? Jesus Christ, this is going to be the longest series on freaking planet Earth. I do want to, if I can, just get all of this stuff. Are these guys just... Oh, I can just kill these guys. I mean, I can kill anything, but... It's likely that I am actually going to kill these guys before they kill me. Before they do the same thing to me. I guess this will give me slightly more XP, possibly. Let's go up here as well. This is like freaking King's Bounty. Jesus. Save again. Lovely. I guess let's just go down to where the quest is, and I guess start the quest, and then we can uh, potentially end the, end the episode. This is a really freaking cool game, though. I love this so far. This is really nice. The art style was freaking awesome. Do I want to kill that guy? I can't even be bothered. I do want to get this coin, though. That's definitely something that I can be bothered to get. Lovely stuff. And maybe potentially upgrade some armor before I go, because I've potentially got 80 coins, and I do want to possibly upgrade the armor that I've, gave, that I've given the dog to level 3, possibly. And I guess we can only upgrade the armor possibly to our level, so we can only upgrade armor to level 6, but... Seeing as though my armor is level 2 and 2 or 3 things are level 1, I don't think we can have a problem with that just yet. Who is this? Another quest? This is Kiri. Let's hope the mages can teach us some powerful magic. Ooh. Let's 
do that, I guess. What did that do? Did that give me something? I have no idea what that does. What is the thing here now? So I guess that's just telling me to... Telling me that I can abandon the quest. I told you already, it's a theory of infinite time, li time li lines. Yes, that's how I pronounce that. Meow. What? A dog. We, we're being invaded. The hell? Relax, they're the ones I told you about. Oh my, whiskers, quickly come inside then. Your meow justies, of course. Okay, great. Well, I will do that in the next episode, but for now I'm going to save and end this first episode of an awesome game called Cat Quest 2. Definitely check it out if you have, I think it was about £17, £18, something like that, so not too bad for a game of this size. As you see, there's a thing up there that you need to be level 99 for, so I don't think I'm going to be finishing this freaking series anytime soon, but for now, ladies and gentlemen, that ends episode one of a freaking awesome and probably the cutest game ever called Cat Quest 2. As usual, there'll be a link in the description if you want to check out the game for yourself, but for now, hopefully you've enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe for our brand new boy, Boss Fat One. Thanks for watching, and of course, as always, peace.